hello friends in this video I will show you how factor can be determined to calculate enzyme activity so the topic is factor calculation to determine enzyme activity during calculation of enzyme activity we all have applied constant factor either from test kit or from textbook as you can see in the screen enzyme activity is equal to change in absorbance per minute multiplied by factor change in absorbance per minute you can get it from analyzer now the question is from where this factor come from let me show you by an example here for enzyme SGPT activity calculation the factor is 1746 so before going for this factor 1746 calculation you need to know about Beer and Lambert law A equals to A B C where A capital A equals to change in absorbance per minute small a equals to molar absorptivity of light absorbing compound which is constant for particular compound b is path of light in solution which is also constant usually one centimeter and c is concentration of solution so from beer's law it is clear that absorbance of solution is directly proportional to molar absorptivity path of light and concentration of solution now let's have a brief idea about molar absorptivity molar absorptivity means how strongly solution absorb light at given range of wavelength a high molar absorptivity indicates that the substance will absorb more light at given wavelength the value of molar absorptivity is constant under standard condition example here the molar absorptivity of NADH at 340 nanometer is 6.3 into 10 to the power 3 liter per mole per centimeter okay so after knowing about this molar absorptivity again come to Beer's law for factor calculation here A equals to ABC now let's simplify it when you bring this C to the left you will get C equals to A multiplied by 1 by AB where this C is concentration of solution but in case of enzyme it can be called as or referred as activity of enzyme okay and the A is change in absorbance and this remaining 1 by AB is considered as factor okay so from Beer's law factor is equals to 1 by AB this change in absorbance we get it from analyzer and this factor 1 by AB now we are going to calculate this okay since we are going to calculate the factor for enzyme SGPT here I have shown the principle for SGPT estimation. In this principle, this NADH is light absorbing compound. So we will take molar absorptivity of NADH at 340 nanometer for the calculation of factor. And the molar absorptivity of NADH is constant, which is 6.3 into 10 to the power 3. and during the procedure or analytical procedure for estimation of SGPT we add 1 microliter reagent that is 1 ml and 100 microliter sample in a tube so from this the reagent to sample ratio is 11 or we can say that dilution factor is 11 finally let's calculate the factor 
the factor equals to 1 by AB. We got it from previous slide. Now let's replace the value of A and B. Whereas A is molar absorptivity of NADH, which is constant 6.3 into 10 to the power 3, and the B is path of light in solution, which is also constant 1 centimeter. Here, centimeter and centimeter cancel each other, and uh, here it is multiplied by 10 to the power 6 because to convert mole to micromole okay why we are doing this why uh, there is need for the conversion of mole to micromole because the activity of enzyme is reported in international unit and the one international unit is defined as conversion of micromole of substrate in product in a minute so unit should be in micromole Also, this is multiplied by 11 here. It is to adjust the dilution factor because we already discussed that dilution is 11 here. Okay, so to adjust the dilution factor, here we should multiply it by 11. Now, after simplifying all this, we get 1746. This 1746 is the factor which can be seen in the test kit or textbook during calculation for the activity of SGPT enzyme. Therefore, SGPT is equals to change in absorbance per minute which we can get from machine analyzer or spectrophotometer multiplied by this constant factor 1746. In this way we can calculate factor for all analyte. Thank you very much.